Hello mga Mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na ang guide ninyo for learning task number 2, week number 6 sa 4 special products. Ha? Pero bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin at ang notification bell. Okay na, at meron pa pala akong isang hiling pag may dumaan dyan na hindi ko boses or may biglang nag-play, huwag mo nang i-skip ha. Pabayaan mo nang mag-play, saglit lang naman yan. Okay, dahil dyan, simulan na natin. Okay, for number one, we have to have this quantity of a plus 6 and then naka-squared siya. Okay, naka-raise siya sa 2, which means ito ay square of binomial. Natatandaan nyo, dun sa first nating, oops, wait, dun sa first nating learning task, ba? Meron na tayong strategy on how to solve this one. Okay, sige, let's apply. Pag ganito ang given nyo, ba? Madali lang to. Uunahin natin ha, ito ang first term at yung isa naman, yung 6 naman, yung last term. Ulit, ito ang first term at ito ang last term. So, yung una natin gagawin is to square the first term. So, you will have your A raised to 2. Ang sign ng middle term natin ay depende kung ano yung operation ng binomial natin. Since ito ay plus, plus ito. And then, you have to have twice the product of the first and the last. Ibig sabihin, ita times mo daw sa 2 yung product ng first term mo at ng last term mo. So, 2 times the product of A times A uh, and 6. Okay? And then, for the last one, di ba laging positive to kapag square of binomial, you square the last term. O, oh, ayan na. So, what is a squared, that is A squared. Okay? And then, diba, you have 1. 1 times 2, you have 2. Plus 2 times A times 6. So, 2 times 6 is 12. Okay? And then, you have A. 12A. Plus, what is 6 squared? That is not 6 times 2, ha? That is 6 times 6. Okay? And that is 36. Okay, so this is now our answer. Okay, sundan lang yung procedure ha. Okay, how about here? Oh, square of binomial pa rin ito. Kaya ang gawin natin, is square ulit natin yung first term. So, you will have 2, x, y, and then you square it. Dahil minus ang ating operation, ibig sabihin yung middle term natin minus din. And then twice the product of this one and this one. First term and last term. So, you will have 2. Laging 2 ha. Laging ita times sa 2. Ang clue nyo kasi binomial siya or square siya. Sorry, del square siya. Kaya 2 mo. So, twice mo siya. Or sa 2 mo siya tina times. Ha? Sorry. So, you will have here 2x y and then you have a 5 okay and then yung sign natin lagi sa last term ay positive ha okay dito lang nagbabago depende sa sign ng ating binomial or sa operation ng ating binomial and then we have here 5 raised to 2 okay and then let's solve oh this one is what 2 eto ay magiging 2 raised to 2 and then x raised to 2, and then y raised to 2. Lahat bibigyan ha. O, yung tatlo na yan. Minus 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2, 4 times 5, you have 20. And then copy yung xy. Plus 5 times 5, 25. Times ha, hindi 5 times 2. Ito times sa, sa sarili niya. Okay, ito na ba yung answer? Hindi pa, kasi yung 2 naka-squared pa. O, what is 2 squared? 2 times 2 is 4. And then we have x squared, y squared, minus 20, xy, plus 25. 
Okay, ayan na yung sagot. O, ha? Okay, for number 3, we have this one. Ha? O, kung titingnan nyo, parang mahirap, no? Pero madali lang yan, ha? O, isipin nyo, etong unang binigay, eto ang ating first term. Okay? Tapos, eto namang pangalawa, eto yung ating last term. Kaya, parang makukonsidered pa rin natin silang square of binomial. First term and then yung last term. Okay? So, dalawa sila. Okay? Though, dito sa last term, may dalawa ding term, ha? Tignan nyo, makikita nyo mamaya. Okay? Anong gagawin natin? Square the first term. So, you have here x, okay, raised to 2. Okay? Ang operation natin dito sa middle term natin ay depende sa kung ano yung operation ng binomial natin. In this case, ito yon plus... Okay, twice the product of the first and the last. So, laging product nito, pero dodoblihin mo kasi nga naka-square ka. So, you have 2 times the product of x and y minus 3. Okay, itong buo. Okay, and then laging plus yung dito sa last term. We have the square of the last term. So, you will have here y minus 3 raised to 2. Okay, and then we simplify. This will become x raised to 2 plus, o oh, 1 by 1 na, 2 times x. 2x, okay? And then times y minus 3. O oh, mamaya magdi-distribute tayo dyan na. Plus, ano nga yung tong y minus 3 squared? Kung mapapansin nyo, eto din ay square of binomial, ha? So, yung square of binomial, ilagay ko dito na pag to para ma-distinguish nyo siya. Ganun ulit yung gagawin natin, di ba? I-square natin yung first term. And then, we get the product of, or we get twice the product of the first and the last. Eto ngayon ulit yung magiging first, eto yung magiging last. Okay? Dahil ito ay minus, minus to. So, we have 2 times y times 3. Okay? And then, this, uh, yung last term natin laging positive. Okay? So, that is the square of the last, which is 3 squared. O, oh, ayan. Ibig sabihin, ito, i-expand pa natin. Ayan. Okay. O, oh, mamaya natin tingnan yan. Ito muna tayo. We have here x raised to 2 plus, okay, Distribute 2x times y is simply 2xy. Okay? And then, 2x times negative 3, that is negative. 2 times 3 is 6x. Okay? Dahil ito ay positive at ito ay negative, negative na siya. Okay? Plus, oh, simplify muna natin to. y squared minus... Ilan to? 2 times 3 is 6y. And then plus, what is 3 squared? 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. Ayan. And then, combine na natin sila. Uh, I-arrange natin sila in standard form, ha? O, sige. Paano natin i-arrange in standard form yan? We have here, aha, uh, x squared, y plus y squared, plus 2xy okay, minus 6x minus 6y plus 9. Ano nangyari? Ito, tapos ito yan, ito, and then negative 6, and then negative 6y, and then 9. So, our answer is this one. Inarrange natin sila, ha? Okay. Okay, for number 4, we have the square of trinomial. So, meron na tayong tatlong terms, okay? So, ang una lang natin gagawin is i-square bawat isa, okay? So, you have 2x raised to 2 plus 4y raised to 2 plus 5 raised to 2. Okay, yun lang yun. And then, by partner sila, tas times 2, ito twice natin. Okay, so let's see. That is plus 2. Ito muna magka-partner. Uh, 2x times 4y. Okay, plus twice ulit. Nino naman, nitong dalawa naman. Ni 2x times 5. Okay, and then plus, okay, ito naman. Okay, 
twice ni 4y times 5. Okay, nakita? I square lang yung tatlo. And then, partner, partner ha. Ito, ito, tapos ito. Tapos dapat naka-twice yung mga product nila. Okay, so ito, ang ibig sabihin nito, naka-raise din yung mga constant, ay yung mga numerical coefficient ha. So, 2 times 2 is 4x raised to 2 plus O, oh, naka-raise din to ha. So, 4 times 4 is 16y squared. And then, we have plus 25. Kasi 5 times 5. Okay, plus 2 times 2. 4 times 4, you have 16y. Okay, ay no. 16xy. Ha, may x tayo. Wait lang. Ito, tingnan nyo maigi ha. O, oh, we have x and y. So, xy. Plus, 2 times 2 is 4 times 5. You have 20 X. X lang siya. Okay. Plus, 2 times 4 is 8 times 5. You have 40. Anong letter niya? Y. Okay. Tapos, arrange na lang natin yan. So, we have here, paano ba? Ito kasi ay constant. So, dapat nasa dulo siya. So, we will have here 4X squared plus 16 Y squared. Sino ang susunod ko? Okay na to. Si 16y, o oh, xy, sorry, ito yun, plus 20x, okay, plus 40y, okay, plus 25. O, oh, usually ha, yung mga, ang exponent natin is, is decreasing order ha, so you have 2. Ito ang degree nito ay 2 din, kasi 1 sa ka 1, diba? And then, we have yung x, sino ba mauuna, si x or si y? Si x, laging si x ang nauuna. Kaya siya naon na bago ito. Ha? Although pareho lang naman sila ng degree. Okay, plus 25. O, ayan yung final answer natin. Ang dali naman pala. Okay, now for number 5. O, let's have this one. Ganun din siya. A trinomial din. Kaya lang may mga negative. O, eto. Tingnan natin paano gagawin natin. Ha? So, square muna yung tatlo. 2a raised to 2 plus negative b raised to 2 plus 3c raised to 2. O, lahat naka-raise kay 2. Okay, plus, eto munang magka-partner. Twice, ha? Twice. So, twice the product of 2a times negative b. Negative yung b natin, ha? Okay, plus, si 2a na-partner na dito. So, dito naman siya sa pangatlo. So, we have 2a. Oops, si 2 na wala. 2 times Teka nga, ayusin ko. Wait lang para malaki yung space natin. Medyo malit, malat si Teacher Maria, ha? Pasensya na. So, plus 2 times 2A times 3C. Ito yun. Okay? So, plus twice ulit nito. Sila naman magka-partner. So, we have negative B. Okay, and then 3C. And then, we simplify. We have here 2 times 2. We have 4a squared. Sa sarili, multiply ha? Okay, plus negative b squared. Ang ibig sabihin ng negative b squared ay ito, ha? Negative b times negative b. Okay, dahil pareho sila ng sign, magiging positive na. 1 plus 1, you have b squared. Okay, so this one is b squared. Plus 3 times 3, you have 9C raised to 2. Okay. O, tignan nyo to ha. Kasi may iba yung sign nito. Positive ito, multiply mo sa negative. Kaya ano ang sign? Negative. Okay? Kasi unlike sign, negative. O, what is now 2 times 2? We have 4. Dahil wala naman to, 1 lang naman to, you have 4. And then, A, B. Okay? Dito wala namang negative, so multiply lang yan, plus pa rin. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3, you have 12ac. Okay? And then, oh, may negative, so positive times negative, negative ito. So, we have 2 times 3, that is 6bc. Okay, now, ma-arrange pa ba natin ito? O, okay na to Tingnan natin. Okay na. Naka-squared. Okay. O, okay na. So, ito na ang ating final answer. 
Okay, for number 6, we have some and difference of two binomials na. Okay? Kung matcha-check, no? Parehong-pareho yan. Ang pinagkaiba lang yung operation nila kasi sum and difference. O, di ba may strategy tayo? You just have to square the first term minus the square of the last term. So, we have here, ito ang first term, ito ang ating last term. O, tingnan nga natin, we have here 5 raised to 2 minus, laging minus ha, kasi pag pinag-multiply mo itong negative at positive, negative yan. And then, the square of the last, we have 3x and then you square it. Okay, what is 5 squared? That is 25 minus, okay, oh, square mo yung 3. That is 3 times 3, and you will have there 9, and then x squared. Ayun na, ganun lang kadali pag sum and difference, ha? Okay, gawin din natin dito sa number 7. We have here, pareho lang ba? O oh, pareho. So, magkaiba lang sila ng operation. So, we have to have the square of the first term. Okay, minus the square of the last term. So, A, B, C. Okay, so lahat bibigyan na, lahat naka-squared. So, what is a 4 times 4? Not 4 times 2 ha, 4 times 4 sa sarili niya kapag exponent. So, we have there 16. X raised to 2, Y raised to 2. Minus, o oh, bigyan din bawat isa. Ha, <laughs> asan yung kay A ito? O, oh, we have here A raised to 2, B raised to 2, C raised to 2. Ayan na, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, now for number 8, we have this one. So, pareho lang ba? A squared, A squared, 3B squared, 3B squared. Okay, pareho lang. So, ganun ulit. So, A raised to 2, A square mo siya, minus 3B squared, A square mo din siya. So, ano to? Power rule, di ba? Kung saan minumultiply mo yung exponent. So, you will have here A raised to 4, minus, o oh, eto. This is what? Is this 6? No, ha? 3 times 3, that is 9. Okay, and then multiply my exponent dito. So, you will have here B raised to 4. Okay, ayan na. Ngayon, dahil medyo mahaba ang magiging explanation ng number 9, kasama ko na to sa part 2, ha? 9 to 15. Okay, abangan nyo ang part 2 natin. I-upload ko din agad-agad. Pero sana mapagbigyan nyo ang hiling ko na mag-iwan kayo ng comment dito sa video na ito para maapit ang video na ito at makita din naman ng ibang nagsisearch dito sa YouTube ng guide kung paano nila sasagutan ng module nila. Kaya huwag kayong aalis ng hindi man lang nag iwan ka Kahit thank you ha. Maraming salamat. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye.